505 now. The attorneys for the family of 14 year old Tyree Sampson say they plan to file a lawsuit in the coming weeks. Sampson fell to his death from the Orlando Freefall Ride in Icon Park nearly two weeks ago. Attorneys Ben Crump and Michael Haggard are representing the family and they say the ride's operations manual has a weight limit of 287 pounds, but there was no sign and no scale displayed for guests. There's a metal detector, so you don't bring your phone on. But there's no sign about weight and there's no scale. That is, I mean, how that's not so much more important than a metal detector for a ride is, is kind of amazing. And we do have that operations manual posted on our website, along with all of the other documents that we've compiled on our website as well. Fox35Orlando.com. A former Port Orange teacher accused of playing loud music in order to disrupt Florida standards assessments is out of jail on bond this morning. I do think that uh, if this individual was wanting to protest the FSA, there are definitely some better ways to go about it. Well, police say that Martin Reese refused to turn off the music at Creekside Middle School and caused a disturbance when being escorted to the principal's office yesterday. This caused the school.